How do I draw a dog? I don't know. Let's find out. So it's spring break, and I'm just going to do some quick, like, little sketch style videos for y'all, maybe over this week, because I want to be on spring break too. So let's talk about how to draw a dog. Um, here's how I like to do it I'm going to start with a little straight line. That's the area, like, right on the top of his nose. And then I'm going to add a curve that's going to come down and turn into the ear. So up and over. Down and around like the ear. Exactly how far down it goes, totally up to you. All right, let's go ahead and add the rest of the face with another little curved line. And we can see now that's his snout. So I guess I should add a nose, maybe a little eye here. Again, lots of different ways you can do the eyes. I'm going to do mine kind of cartoony. Maybe something like that. Maybe give him a little mouth. There we go. Cool. Okay, so what's next? Well, there's lots of things we can do. Let's give, uh, I'm gonna do a little collar on mine. So maybe hang in right here. Just a little curve and add an oval. Put a little metal thing sticking off of it. Cool. And let's see, at this point, let's go ahead and draw the rest. So he's gonna be sitting down. So I'll just do kind of a straight line down for the front part of his front leg. Let's curve around like this and back up. There's the front paw. If he's sitting down, the back should be kind of coming down and around. So let's do that for the rest of our dog's body. Back. The back foot's going to be longer than the front. So I'm going to curve that around a little bit longer like that. And normally when they sit, you can kind of see part of their leg almost like that. And I guess if he's sitting, the rest of this should be kind of just curved in like that maybe. Cool. He needs a tail. Two curves. Perfect. That's a dog. I think anyone would call it a dog. We're done. There's some other details I could add if I wanted to. If you want to make things look a little bit more dimensional, a little bit more 3D, well, we could add, let's say, another leg sticking slightly out like this. Maybe you can see his other foot kind of coming behind from there. That looks weird with the collar, so I'm going to fill this in, make it a little bit wider. Okay, so that helps it look a little more 3D. As always, we could add our line for our ground. So, again, it's just a quick sketch, so my ground's not lining up so well. Cool, there we go, we're done. That's a dog, nice. All right, well, what else could we do? Well, maybe we could draw our dog laying down, Let's switch. I don't know which of these markers work and which ones don't, so we're gonna figure it out together. So if he's laying down, maybe I'll start the same way with the ear and the nose. Okay, if he's laying down, maybe he's asleep, maybe his eyes are closed, so we could do uh, maybe like a little frowny face style curve like that. Having a good dream, I guess, still smiling. And for the, hey, oh. <laughs> that top goes on the other way. Uh, let's see if he's sleeping, I'm actually just going to do when I, when I draw animals sleeping, normally like a dog or a cat, they would curl up. So I'm going to draw the entire body kind of curled up in one big curve and the tail is going to be kind of sticking out, wrapped around like that. You might see a little bit of the, uh, kind of curve for the leg right there, but other than that, I think I'm good to go. Maybe my front paw is kind of sticking out like this, but you can't really see any more details than that. Cool, there's our dog sleeping. Maybe we could add like a fluffy dog bed. Ooh, <laughs> that marker makes a lot of noise. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sounds like my guinea pigs. Cool, our dog is asleep. Awesome. Okay, we got two dogs, we've done it. We've done it. Well, what else could we do? Maybe we can draw our dog from a slightly different angle. Do we think we can handle that? Maybe. Maybe. Let's give it a shot. Maybe I'll switch to a new color. Let's see if this blue works. All right. So if I'm going to draw my dog from a different angle, maybe I can do like a three quarters view where it's kind of tilted a little bit. I'm going to start close to the same, but not exactly. So I'll start with the little line up above the nose where it would be, but I'm not going to make it stick out quite so much this time. And instead, what am I going to do? Let's curve it kind of down and around a little bit longer. And this time, 
my nose isn't all the way on the end because we're looking kind of from an angle. So my nose, just a triangle with curved sides on the bottom. Maybe I'll add a little curve here and here. Okay. Now from this view, since it's kind of tilted and angled, we'd probably go ahead and see both eyes. So there we go. Again, you can make your eyes as realistic or cartoony as you want them to be. Okay, that makes sense, right? That makes sense, I think. So we're still going to go ahead and add the big curve with the ear. Let's go up and over. The ear is going to be a little bit thinner this time because from this view, it's not, you know, we don't see as much of it hanging down. And I guess I should finish the head. Oh, let's add our collar maybe. The collar from this view is going to be not a perfect circle. From the front, I think it would be a perfect circle. But from this view, maybe it'll be a little bit wider of an oval. Not quite so thin as we had it in that one. Okay, so let's see. Pull this around. Fill that in. Why not? Okay, uh, you know what? I really should see the other ear hanging down right here. So let's get that in there. Okay. Okay. Now from this view, we'd really be able to see both of the front legs. So, hmm, I guess this one's closer to us. So I should probably draw that one first. That way I don't have things getting in the way here. And actually, I'm not even going to finish that one yet because I feel like the back leg might get in the way. So let's see. And you know what? Those probably shouldn't be sticking out quite that much, but that's okay. Maybe he's turning his head a little. Why not? And I'll do... Yeah, I had a feeling the back foot might be kind of sticking out a little bit more on this one. That's why I didn't finish drawing the front foot yet. So maybe something like that. Get his tail in there. Could we see even the other back foot sticking out? Maybe a little bit. I don't know. What do we think? Maybe the other back foot's sticking out like that a little bit. Sure. Why not? Okay. What other details could we add? Ooh. Could add some little toes. Just quick little curves. All right. Well, something like that. Again, I think we'd know it's a dog. Good to go. Cool. What else? Ooh, maybe we need to figure out how to draw, uh, you know, dogs that not all dogs have floppy ears. Some some dogs have the pointy uppy ears. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So let's try a pointy uppy ear dog. See what we can come up with. All right. New color. Ooh, these are scented. Ew. Gross. See, that one smells good. The red one smells like cherry, which you would imagine. And look, they have like all these little berries and stuff on here. Guess what flavor this one is? It's mint. Gross. I was expecting like lime or something like that. All right, let's see if we can draw a dog with pointy up ears. How are we going to do this one? Let's do... Maybe we'll start the same way. Ooh, this marker's really thick. Maybe we'll start this way again. Little nose. This marker is very thick. Okay. Get my mouth. Um, so the ears for this one are going to be pointy uppy ears. Maybe we'll add a little bit of texture on the back. Maybe we'll add a little bit of texture, a little bit of fur down here. And do my other. Now let's see, should this ear be pointed the same way? Like point it that way or should it be pointed the other way? Uh, since this is kind of an angled view, maybe it should be this way. Okay, hey, why not? What else? We've done sitting, laying down. Let's make this one standing up. Let's make this one standing up. Gotta have a collar. 
Okay. So if he's standing up. By the way, if you want to make your dogs or animals in general look more like they're young, make the eyes bigger and make the paws bigger. So if I want to look more like a puppy, the bigger you make the eyes, the bigger you make the feet compared to the rest, the more it'll look like it's a puppy or a kitten or whatever. So let's see. Um, I guess if he's standing up, the back legs are basically going to be the same thing. Again, we can make it look kind of 3D. We have another one. The another one, man. Really doing well with English today. And since he's got the kind of ruffles on his ears, let's add some little ruffles to his tail too. Why not? Maybe I should have added some ruffles to the body too. Boop. There's the ground. He's going to have a food bowl. What should the dog's name be? Vote now. Everybody vote. Cool. You guys picked Tom. Interesting. <laughs> Dog's name is Tom. He already ate all, all the food. That's why the bowl's empty. They fed him. He just ate all the food already. All right. I think we drew dogs. Oh, we got we got to draw a dog from the front. Okay. Okay. We've done a bunch of different variations. Let's see. We got our sitting down dog. We got our lying down dog. We have our sitting down three quarters view dog. We have our standing up dog. All right, let's do a front view. Maybe I'll turn my paper this way this time so we can draw really big. All right, what color should I use next? I think I'm out of colors. <laughs> Does this even work? Let's see if this one works. Yeah, it works all right. Okay, front view. So one of the things from our front view, in all these views, we see the dog's kind of snout sticking out. Even from the angle view, it sticks out a little bit, right? Sticking out, sticking out, sticking out. Well, again, from a front view, we can't really draw it sticking out long because it's coming toward you. So we're going to have to do that foreshortening thing. In other words, it's not really going to stick out at all because it's pointing toward us. So how are we going to show the snout? Mm, actually, I think I'm going to start by drawing the snout. Again, I'm going to use a triangle for the nose. The bottom two sides of the triangle I made kind of round. Let's do that letter J thing again for the mouth. Oh my goodness. I made the mouth way too long. Way too long. It sticks down way too much. That's okay. Whatever. So for our snout, all I'm going to do is kind of make a big curve that goes around it. So you can tell it sticks out at us. Kind of looks like, like a teddy bear right now, right? That's okay. Bears have snouts too, I guess. I don't know. Let's do some eyes. I think it's going to be up to the ears to make this look like a dog. Because right now it just looks like a big old teddy bear. Hey, and if you want to make yours into a bear, make yours into a bear. <sighs> so, do we want to do the pointy ears or the hangy ears? I like the hangy. I always had labs, black labs when I was growing up. So I'm partial to the hangy ears. Let's do some hangy ears. So way hangy down. Whoa, that one's really hanging. Maybe that's like a basset hound or something. This got the ears. We used to have basset hound when I was a kid and should walk around. Her ears would literally drag on the ground because of, you know, how long they were. And also basset hounds have teeny short little legs too. My sister has a Bassador. It's a Basset Hound and Labrador mixed together. So it looks like a black lab. It just has teeny tiny legs. He's pretty cute. All right. Shout out Kuma. <laughs> what am I going to do? Let's finish. Let's add the bottom part because that's going to be the other ear. But let's go ahead and add the bottom part of the face first. And we'll add our little collar. Now I might have drawn this way too big at this point. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Bless you. There's our other ear hanging down. Hmm. Should it go behind? The way I did the snout, it kind of looks like it's pointed slightly that way. So let's have the other ear going behind like that. Ooh, you know what else? This could be right now. It's either a dog with hanging downy ears, or it might be like one of those lop-eared rabbits. Is that what they're called? Lop ear? 
lop ear. They're pretty cute. All right, so he's look he's looking right at us. So we need to see both front paws. I'm gonna show one kind of going slightly that way. I'm gonna show the other one going kind of slightly this way. Straight lines with some curves on the end. Let's add some little toes in there. Okay, and now for the back paws and the body, he's gonna be sitting. So for the back paws and the body, they're gonna kind of come out to the side a little bit, going behind the ears. There we go. There we go. I guess we need to connect in the middle where the kind of tummy would be. And let's give him a tail. This one looks kind of puppy -y. This one must be, must be, yeah. Uh... Okay, there's our dog. So we've got three quarters view sitting down dog, side view sitting down dog, laying down dog side view, uh, three quarters view, fluffy pointy up ear dog, frontward facing dog. I think you got lots of dogs you can make. That's how you can make a dog. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, enjoy drawing your dogs. Have fun. I'll see you next time. Later. Nope, not later. <laughs> if I'm drawing dogs, how can I do a video on how to draw dogs without drawing Snoopy? So we're going to draw Snoopy real quick. Here we go. Um, so with Snoopy, I'm going to do kind of a side view Snoopy here. And let's see. Oh, a lot of the shapes are going to be kind of similar to what I did. With some of mine but here we go so let's make our snoopy so if we're gonna draw snoopy we're gonna start with kind of a curve snoopy doesn't have quite straight lines so instead of going straight across i'll do kind of a curve like this for the front it's close to the right shape i think that's probably a little pointier than snoopy's nose would be let's see his nose would be here that's too pointy for snoopy it's not gonna work Let's try this again. So <laughs> curve up and over and back down. And we are not going to make it stick out so much this time. That's looking more like Snoopy, I think. All right, let's add the ear. So I'm going to do a curve. And the ear doesn't quite connect on Snoopy. There's like a little, a little extra kind of slant here. It doesn't directly connect the way I was drawing mine. That's fine. Also, Snoopy's a cartoon character, so he has like one of those thin little necks. So let's go ahead and get a little thin Snoopy neck in there. You know, Snoopy stands on his back feet, so he's going to be standing up like a human. All right. Um, Snoopy has a little eye, which I think is just a black dot. I'll give him a little reflection just because that's how I like to do things. It has like little eyebrows. And of course, let's give him a nose. It's I don't remember if it's a circle or a oval. I've seen it both ways. I'm going to just do mine as a circle, let's say. Put a little reflection in that nose, too. Uh-oh, my marker's running out of ink. That's okay. I'll just fill that in. One thing about Snoopy is a lot of times you see the ear is not totally black. There's that like little bit of kind of extra white space around it. I'll see if we can finish him before my uh, marker runs out. Okay, so we're gonna do kind of out for the stomach. He's a little pudgy, like some cartoon characters. <laughs> His hands and feet are huge, so for the hands, that doesn't look right. Let's see. I think I made that too curvy. Whatever. For the back, we draw the back first, or the and let's draw the shape of the body first. That's close. And you go, well, why is that so? Again, most of it's going to get taken up by the hand. The hand's going to kind of go up and around like that, I feel. Those should have been curved the other way. This isn't going that well. <laughs> I thought Snoopy would be so easy to draw. Let's give him a collar. Ooh, that helped him look like Snoopy. He, he looks like he's like leaning out or something. Very weird. Whatever. 
we're gonna go down when you draw your snoopy you can figure out every little thing i did wrong and fix it on yours and he has huge oval feet like huge that's probably too big <laughs> but that's okay and we'll draw the other one kind of going behind i might have made the feet too big <laughs> it's all right i assume he has a little tail does he have black on the end of his tail does he have spot i don't think so I have a picture I'm looking at, but I'm not sure if it's right. I don't think Snoopy has a spot. He might not have black on the end of his tail either. And... Now, our Snoopy <laughs> feet are probably too big. <laughs> just, uh, just to let you know it's okay. I don't even know if Snoopy has thumbs. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Thumbs up. Everything's fine. Snoopy's doing great. Oh, he should probably... Yeah, he has a smile, right? There it is. You got Snoopy. <laughs> it might not be the best looking Snoopy, but I think anyone looking at it would know it's Snoopy. So there you have it. There's how to draw some dogs. <laughs> I, like, I actually like my dogs better than my Snoopy. My Snoopy was a little rough. That guy's pretty cute. You could add some spots and color and stuff on him. And hey, there's kind of a, uh, a not that great version of Snoopy, but it's close enough. All right, have fun. Be safe.